Yeah, I've had asthma attacks. I was in the hospital about six, seven times while I was playing in the league. Uh, Intelligent, strong, fierce woman that you know that just lit up a room when she walked into it. Thirty-seven years old, in amazing shape, never smoked. If, I, if if she is not right in front of me, and somebody told me that, I'd probably be like, "Ah, oh, that's ah, that's kind of crazy." What, what are you saying to me? Because all of the messaging historically was just about the connection with smoking. You know, we found out the most important fact about lung cancer at that moment, and that is that anyone can get lung cancer, or anyone with lungs can get lung cancer. came to me and she said, what if we don't get presents? What if we ask our family and friends just to uh, donate to the foundation? And, and literally that's the point where we uh, started our team draft initiative that is changing the face of lung cancer. So our wedding day was, a, it was two commitments. You know, one uh, to the lung cancer community and the other one to each other. Honesty to just acknowledge that getting people to stop smoking was not anything done out of malice to create some type of stigma, but it was about actually loving the people enough to say we need to get them to stop smoking, right? Really more than anything, it starts with caring about the people because if we want to educate, then the lung cancer community has to be bigger than just the people that have lung cancer so that someone can know that anyone can get it before they actually get it, right? So that they can support research before it actually happens to them. As I'm saying all it matters is if we love our people, then the answers will be simple, right? Stop trying to complicate it. And so that's where the White Ribbon Project starts. We're going to walk with you. We're gonna make sure we get people around you. We're gonna keep supporting you because we know that cancer is not just a physical thing, but it's a mental, emotional thing. So that's why even with these ribbons, as we're giving them out all over the country, we're challenging people to tell their particular story about what's going on so they can help somebody that's in a similar situation. It's not just to tell your story, just to tell it, but to relate to people so they can see themselves within that disease.
are touching more than just the lung cancer community to make sure that there's access for, for uh, early detection, for screening. You know, research, research is going to uh, biomarker testing that's going towards targeted therapy. That's the, that's the future of cancer care. That's not just about lung cancer. So as we make it more, uh, people more aware of biomarker testing, that goes across all cancers. That's an education that is, that is, is critical. So what does success look like? It looks like all of the cancer centers realizing that everyone that walks in there matters. We want them to all get ribbons, but really the ribbon is just a reflection of saying that you matter. We recognize the trauma of this diagnosis. We wanna stand with you. We recognize that you probably don't know anything about cancer. So we're, we're gonna help you, this, you know, work through all these words and all this trauma of just being overwhelmed by a diagnosis, overwhelmed by the information. This ribbon says you are not alone and you've got people fighting for you. We are here together. We're on the same team.